what is the situation for China? Act preemptively, there's going to be a conflict. Act reactively, there's going to be a conflict. So it makes no difference when China acts. Hi, hello and welcome to another video by Fermove where I share with you what it is like to live and work in China. Today I want to talk about China, Taiwan and the red line. What is the point of having red lines? Um, we all know that um, America doesn't respect red lines. NATO doesn't respect any red lines. And America's allies and lapdogs, they don't care about what red lines America crosses. There is a long history of America crossing red lines and experiencing no consequence. And that's the, the, the shitty idea. When somebody crosses a red line, you could go to some sort of arbiter, some sort of referee, that is going to reel in the transgressor, that is going to show some consequence to the transgressor, and then we move on with the understanding that we had. But it has never happened to America. This has never been the case for America or its lapdogs. So this red line that we've seen, for example, in, in, in Ukraine, where Russia was promised that NATO was not going to expand eastward, but they did, and they got to its doorstep in Ukraine. What does that show you? It shows you that having a red line indicating to your enemy, hey, this is what I will not tolerate, is like honey to a bear. It's like, it's like bacon to a dog. It's just, that's where they go. That's exactly what they're going to do. That's exactly what they're going to attack. So we all know that Taiwan is going to be the next playing field, the next red line that America will cross. At what point does China say, hey, that's it, you've crossed the red line. That's it. That's... I think that the red line is Taiwan's independence. Even the American State Department says that there is only one China and the government that regulates that China is in Beijing. But they, they don't care. They'll do that. How does that change the understanding of diplomacy or international relations when the red line is crossed and there's no consequence. Well, for China, they might be looking at, okay, if I go preemptively and assert my sovereignty over Taiwan, it's gonna be hell to pay at the hands of the United States and the international community, those five, six, seven, eight countries that are America's lapdogs, it's gonna be hell to pay militarily, economically, financially, socially, whatever, in every standing. But what happens when America crosses the line and, and they are the aggressor, when, when America is the aggressor, they, they cross the line? Who is China going to go to? There's nobody to go to. China will have to handle it by itself. China will have to take care by itself, militarily. And there's going to be hell. I'm not saying hell to pay, but it's going to be hell. It's going to be a war. It's going to be a conflict. So, again, I would like to remind you guys that I'm not a politician. I'm not an international relations expert. I'm not a diplomacy expert. I'm just the guy looking at, looking at how the, the, the cards have been played, how, how the, play, the game is played by the United States. They don't give a shit about red lines. They don't give a shit about law, rules, order, agreements. Just think about what Blinken said just the other day. But this goes to the, the heart of uh, the international system and the international order. And part of that um, is uh, a basic principle that one country can't dictate to another the choices it makes about with whom it allies. But now the Solomon Islands has made an agreement, a security agreement with China, and now America is fucking calling on the Solomon Islands. You can't do that. There'll be consequences. There'll be... Fuck America. Fuck America. Hit. I'm done. I'm done. Three years ago, I made a video. Oh, am I an anti-American YouTuber? At that time, I was not aware of even a tenth of what America has done around the world. Today, my eyes are wide open. And I am so tired and so fed up. So again, what is the situation for China? Act preemptively, there's going to be a conflict. 
act reactively, there's going to be a conflict. So it makes no difference when China acts. And if I know this, if I understand this, I'm sure the people in Beijing also know this. Everybody in Beijing must know this. They understand it. So what's taking place? What's happening right now? What's cooking? I have no idea. I do not know. But I think that it's important for, for all of you guys who watch my videos to understand that we're just passengers in this, in this car. We're just passengers. I saw this video. Let me show it to you. And, and it just represents exactly how things are. We are glued to our phones, glued to our Twitter accounts and to our feeds and to our YouTubes. And the world is going in a path and there's nothing for us to do. But I just think it's important for you guys, my viewers, to understand the path that we're heading towards and why that is. One last thought before we go. I would like, I've been tweeting and, and, and posting moments on WeChat referring to America as a hegemonic murderous regime. I wish that became a thing. I wish that became a thing. America, the hegemonic murderous regime. Anybody please argue with me. Tell me why we shouldn't be calling America that. That is exactly what they are. But if you disagree, give me some ideas. Tell me. And no what about ism. All about China, but no. We're talking about America. That's what America is. That's what America does. So there you go, guys. That's all I wanted to share with you. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you want to support the work that I do, you can hit the link in the description down below. Make sure to subscribe, share this, uh, hit the like button, whatever, all the whole things. Until I see you again, take it easy, and bye for now.